All right, uh, now yet another example of uh, data that gets in the wrong hands, and this time not a retailer, but Quest Diagnostics, uh, the, the big uh, blood retrieving folks, saying that better than 11.9 million customers had their data compromised. Cybersecurity expert, founder of CyberScout, Adam Levin, joins us right now. Um, what do we know about this, Adam? Well, thanks, Neil, for inviting me. What we know is it's close to 12 million people. We know that it was a vendor of a vendor. So this was a uh, bill collection company that was working for a vendor of Quest that had medical information, social security information, financial information, and possibly other personal information, uh, contact information for consumers, patients of Quest. So let me ask you, when you have incidents like this, you hear about millions of people's records compromised, whether it involves countless retailers and online concerns, what have you, uh, what percentage of those do you think were genuinely uh, victims of, of material that got into the wrong hands and was stolen, in other words, used for nefarious purposes? It really depends uh, on the kind of breach, the kind of data that's there, whether that data is also be used, being used by scammers and identity thieves to launch additional phishing attacks to get more data on people. But it's not a massive percentage of people. But here's the thing. Unlike credit card information, you make a phone call, change a number. When you're talking about Social Security information, Social Security numbers, this is the gift that keeps on giving. You don't really have to use it immediately. You can use it at your leisure uh, simply because the only expiration date on a Social Security number is your expiration date. And even then, we have cases where Social Security numbers have been in play long after somebody has passed away. So what do you do if you learn that you're one of those customers? Uh, what do you do? Well, I think you have to assume we're living in a world where breaches become the third certainty in life. So right. I think you have to assume that your information is out there and you need to, to really seriously protect yourself. Now, there are those who will wait to be notified by Quest that they, were, that they won the Quest breach lottery. <laughs> but, but the truth of the matter is that we should all operate as if we already are in that lottery, whether it was Quest or the health insurance companies that have been breached over the years, or Equifax, or many of the government agencies that have been breached. I mean, the list goes on and on. Yeah. So you need to adopt what I call the three M's. You need to minimize your risk of exposure, reduce your attackable surface. Not easy in a world with 10 billion Internet of Things devices tracking you. You need to monitor effectively, and you have to manage the damage. So in a case like Quest, First, you should put fraud alerts on your credit files. You can contact one agency, they will give it to the other two. Secondly, you should seriously consider freezing your credit so that no one, including you, can gain access to your credit for purposes of opening account unless that is thawed. Hmm. You should be checking your credit reports. You should be tracking your credit scores in the event they take a sudden precipitous drop you can't explain. You should be signing up for what's called transactional monitoring alerts, which are free from financial services providers, credit card companies, and banks that notify you anytime there's activity in your account. When you're talking about health-related information, you should be reading the explanation of benefit statements that you get from your health insurers just to make sure that right. you're the person that had the exam or had the treatment. And, and the last and important thing, the third M, is managing the damage. And a lot of people don't understand that many insurance organizations, financial services organizations, even employers today, have a program to help you through an identity incident. And it may be free as a perk of your relationship, or it may be deeply discounted. But you ought to utilize it, right? Absolutely. All right. Adam, thank you. All, all good advice. Adam Levin, uh, the Cyber Scout founder and chair of cybersecurity, privacy, and fraud expert at all. Thank you, my friend.